guys why did i just spend 20 30 40 50 60 a whole fucking 10 years talking to myself because i wasn't even recording y'all asked and y'all shall receive y'all have been asking me for this video asked me for the update and let me explain let me explain let me explain let me explain before y'all even get on me i've had my piercing for 10 months now and there's some things like i've experienced now that's like i guess i can i can kind of give y'all some insight on so i asked like what maybe a week ago a couple weeks two weeks ago i don't know i asked y'all y'all said yes so i said okay babe here we are with the part two to this if you have not seen my first video this go watch that video that video is literally in a span of a whole one from day one to day seven the whole experience raw uncut like there was no you know barely felt any pain like no i was literally not crying for real but i was literally in pain literally in discomfort literally doing all the wrong things but like you know i gotta do it wrong for y'all to get it right you know right now we're gonna get into it so i'm gonna do this in two two different ways not two different ways but we're gonna do it in two different parts so the first part i'm gonna tell you from my experience what i've noticed anything new from separate from the first video so anything new that i've encountered throughout my 10 months i'm about to tell y'all right now and then afterwards i'm gonna go through the video and i'm gonna look through all the comments or a couple actually i'm gonna look through all the comments and i'm gonna answer some of y'all's questions so, so Without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing, right now I'm in class, so like ignore the, don't even look too hard, just ignore it, whatever. Cause a lot of people are asking, was it healed? Or like, is it healed now? It's been 10 months, so like, it's pretty healed. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty healed. Yeah, from like the beginning, when I first got it pierced, the piercing, like getting it pierced itself didn't hurt. Like honestly, it felt like if you were to like pinch your arm and you know, like, like pinch your arm right now, though. like pinch it right now, like pinch your arm right now. It's gonna feel like, instant pain but then after a while it's gonna go away that's how it felt i'm gonna show the clip right here just relax your time uh. all right deep breath in deep breath out good job hmm. oh my god <laughs> <There you Wow>. go. <laughs> i was like what's going on <laughs> Did you handle it? it didn't hurt like it wasn't bad at all if you want to see that whole week like one day one through day seven go watch the video because i'm not gonna talk anything about that video yep go watch that video one thing i noticed was certain foods i ate certain foods you eat will it won't affect your pacing but like just the way you eat like there's certain foods you can't eat the same like when you when you didn't have a piercing which is obvious dirt. the first thing was noodles like when i ate noodles it was, it was literally wrapping around my tongue piercing, like yanking it. Not hard as fuck as his noodles, but like it was just wrapping it around and stuff like that. And like, it just felt weird. It wasn't, it wasn't discomfort, but it was just like, it wasn't comfortable. So like, that's one thing. Like you're gonna have like food, like be pulling on your stuff, like on your on your um, piercing. The other thing was Starburst. Like Starburst and certain candies. Like Jolly Ranchers too will kind of get stuck on my piercing. So, so, you know the consistency of Starburst. So when I would eat Starburst, it would naturally like, as it's moving around and sw swirling around in my mouth, it will like attach to my piercing and then it will therefore it will like yank on it or just like be stuck on it and it'll be like <coughs> you can't really do nothing about it. Like I mean not even nothing about it because you can't just like, you know, I guess <laughs> suck it off and be like, whoa, oh. <laughs> Since we're on the topic of like eating, I feel like when you talk too fast, like when you're eating, you just naturally or like by accident you bite down on your tongue or bite down on your cheek. The number one thing with a piercing with or people experience with piercings is like biting it down so hard that like, your teeth will shatter like your teeth will fucking shatter bro feel like your teeth will fucking shatter when i went to my dentist she was telling me you saw my tongue piercing and she was all like oh my god no why did you do that to yourself oh my god you know you know how dentists be but telling me like do you know how many um patients i've had that um came in and like their teeth were broken from their piercing and they have to get veneers or, like a replacement yada 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 She's trying to tell me like replace it like a, um replace this patient with like a plastic one that way if I were to bite down on it then I'll be fine. I was like yeah 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 you know I'm just saying things she wants to hear but I'm like girl I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Out of like a ten month span I can count on one hand how many times I've actually bit my piercing and the times that I've bitten it it's just like it's more like a whoa like you just hear like but there was one time where I bit down on it really like, oh my god like that jump you know you hit like a pole. Or like anything metal and it kind of just like vibrates and it's just like zzz, like that's literally how i felt i bit it so hard one time i don't know what i was eating i was definitely chowing down on something for me to bite my tongue that hard because i bit and like my teeth literally said like 
I thought my teeth were finna break. Like literally, literally, but I'm not even cap. I got scared too, but I looked, my teeth are perfectly fine still. Um, I would just say be careful, like just be careful. Another thing I didn't even know, I noticed literally on the bottom of my tongue piercing, I had a buildup of plaque and I don't have like a picture or anything like that, but I can insert like a Google image of like what it looks like of like plaque buildup. <coughs> I don't know if y'all do this or if I'm weird that I don't do it, but I don't grab the bottom of my tongue or like I don't I don't brush the bottom of my tongue. So naturally as you sleep or whatever, like because you know plaque builds up when you sleep or just whenever, um, it's gonna attach on. So that's what happened. I had plaque build up underneath my tongue pierce. But most of the time you, most of the time you can really use your finger. You can use a toothbrush when you brush your teeth. If it's a lot of plaque, you don't have to use your fingers to like really scrape that hole or some tweezers to really scrape it. Oh, another thing was, um, I had like a white piece, a white piece, like on my tongue and it scared me. So I was like, bro, it was mine. First of all, I was like, where did it come from? I was like, what the fuck? It was just weird. It was like a white thing. I YouTube this other girl and she had the same thing too. And she left hers alone. So I'm like, you know what? Since it's normal, I'm gonna leave my shit alone. And it eventually went away there for like maybe like a day or two, maybe like two days. If I remember, I don't know. Watch my, watch my week video. So like. But here's a clip of me with like discharge. Like, I would put the salt on my tongue to soak up all the discharge, all the pus that's coming out of it, just because like, oh, that's gross. So I would definitely do this after I brush my teeth. I would just let the tongue, I let the salt sit on my tongue. That's pretty much from my experiences that I can remember right now. So now we're gonna get to these comments. <laughs> we're gonna look at um the comments from my video because like, y'all had a lot. So. Hey, it was a 25k on this video. I gotta run it up, run it up. <laughs> Alright, let me look at the comments. JJ said, your tongue is supposed to be white during the healing process. It's literally the good bacteria that your tongue produces to help fight the bad bacteria so that it can heal and not get infected. Everyone does it with the piercing. Because I did notice my tongue did get overtly white. Like, I will, I will brush my tongue and my shit would still be white. And I couldn't scrub hard as fuck because my tongue is really sensitive at this point. Like, I'm like, bro, like... No, it has to be overly white. That was obviously was the good bacteria helping to fight for the piercing, like helping to fight the infection. So they are right. So yes, you doing all the wrong things after getting the piercing. I applaud you, sis. Shout out to Rain. I applaud you. <laughs> okay, what on day three? Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> I got a lot of comments saying you did this on day three. You did what on day three? Day three. Day three. Day three. Day three. Day three. <laughs> I'm gonna say, if you wanna figure out what I did on day three, this is between me and my, me and my subscribers. If you wanna figure out what I did on day three, you gotta go watch that video, that first video. I ain't gonna say nothing too much about it, but I don't really, really speak too much about it because I kind of feel like I didn't really get to um, conduct the experiment till its fullest potential. If you catch my drift, like, yeah, I had a couple of trial and errors, whatever, whatever, but I feel like I couldn't, I never really went ham, so I couldn't really tell you, like, a real real thorough synopsis of that you know but throughout the trial and errors you know um like i said again you don't notice you don't really notice it and I, if it does anything good for the other person like the guy or the girl um i don't know either so <laughs> if y'all ask me that question like later on and i've done something i'll let y'all i'm gonna comment and let y'all know like <laughs> is it just me or does it low-key hurt to sneeze for y'all too Vanessa sent on X that. I don't remember if I sneezed at all during that process, but like now, I mean, obviously now I'm healed, but like, I doesn't, I, I don't know, I don't know. Someone, Suzanne said, oh my God, I'm dying. This is the best, just got mine done yesterday and I regret it so much because of the pain and swelling today. It's like a crash diet and a rehab all in one because I can't eat and no drinking. Damn, bitch. <laughs> Man, are you funny, girl? Um, no, definitely, if you wanna go on a diet, definitely get a tongue piercing because you're not gonna be able to eat. The Amazing World of Nini said, I thought I was tripping because mine hurts so bad. Just got it done. But every other video was all like, no, it doesn't hurt. Just a little swelling. So thank you for being honest. Definitely put my mind at ease. You are welcome, Nini. Because I felt the exact same way when I got my tongue piercing. Like, these girls or these people, they were over here saying like, I was extra stuff. Oh, it doesn't hurt. I feel normal. I can, you know, fucking deep throat the whole fucking hot dog. Like, girl, I was like, are y'all crazy? This one hurts. Again, at the end of the day, everybody's experience is different. It's different, but I feel like a lot of people are kind of trying to like diminish what it actually was. But it's like, bro, tell the truth. I'm trying to hear the truth. I'm trying to know what I can expect, what I'm getting myself into. That's why I do all this shit for y'all. I show y'all all the bad, cause it's like, saying, I gotta show y'all so y'all know what to expect, so y'all know what what to do. So you're welcome, Nene. Choose if I was if it were to ever close, 
this is the one piercing I'll never get again. The actual process of getting it was easy, but baby, that healing process, hot, never again. She was 1000% right. Like getting the piercing itself compares to nothing healing process. The healing process is a bitch. Cause I did not know how much I use, actually utilize my mouth. I talk, I talk a lot. I eat a lot, breathe a lot. I do things with my mouth a lot. <laughs> But like literally like the healing process that was a bitch But if mine was to fall out I would get it pissed again Cause I feel like I know what I'm getting myself into And like my my span of what to expect So if mine were to fall out I will get it again I ain't gonna cap Day three, Honestly it just feels good to know I'm not alone I'm telling y'all y'all not alone we're all in this together We're all in this together If you have a tongue piercing right now bitch you're gonna get through it If I got through it you can get through it If she got through it you can get through it That's all you gotta tell yourself That's all you gotta tell yourself I just said drinking the pain away right now. I'm doing research AF right now. This is just crazy. <laughs> I'm a savage. I hope you're not drinking alcohol. Because <laughs> that's not on the rule book, miss. <laughs> How long does it really take um, for your tongue to heal if it is healed? My tongue is healed because it's been 10 months. And for me to, like, what I remember, for me to, like, feel like I can function or, like, be normal again from what it was, was definitely a week. And then, like, add, like, three days. Seven to 10 days like day 10 was like okay yeah i can eat but not like <clears throat> not bitches be lying so that shit be healed in three days bitch don't lie but then again your experience can be different but come on now three days do you brush over the exact piercing like over the point of contact so when i brush my teeth now like i still have to see what i do but yeah i do do that i do brush over it on top underneath like it doesn't hurt like after it's healed your tongue piercing is gonna feel like it's you're not gonna notice it. it's gonna be literally a part of your body like Someone said, what size is your piercing? I just got mine yesterday and it hurts. Um, as far as the piercing size, I feel like the one that they usually give you is um, the piercing. It's size 14. The size 14 gauge. I'm pretty sure that's the size he gave me because that's like, that's the standardized bar you're going to get when you first get your tongue pierced because naturally your tongue is going to swell and expand. So like your tongue needs space to heal when it expands and it swells. So he's going to give you a naturally longer bar. So to answer your question, size 14. But you're, you're, you're make sure... Your piercer is a professional, bro. Like, that's the main thing you need to really make sure. Your ear hurt after getting the piercing. Mine hurts bad when I drink water. Um, I don't know if my, I can't remember if my ears were hurting. I don't think so. It was really mainly, like, it was my mouth, really. Said, so, do you smoke, do you vape or smoke at all? Super nervous about the aspect of it all. I don't vape. I, I don't vape. I'm not a vapor. Um, but you know, I do a little. Um, I don't my healing process no i didn't wait <gasps> yeah. i lied i'm capping ah no nah, i just lied to y'all i really just lied to y'all i really just lied to y'all no, no 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 i did wait it's actually in my first video if y'all couldn't tell i was like well y'all didn't well i don't know but on day seven wait i pull it up let me see you so taste your question yes you can I don't know about vaping because I don't do that, but um, as far as, you know, you can. And if anything, you probably should do that whole because <laughs> just to get your mind off of the pain because, ooh, baby. That's pretty much all the questions that I've seen on here. So that's that for that. And for that, if y'all have any other questions for the part two or just for the updated video that I didn't answer on here, just comment it down below because I'm just going to. I don't think it's needed to make a part three type shit, so, or like another update video. I'm just gonna respond to your comments like directly, like straight out of the comment section. We just have a conversation about it. So just ask the question and I will answer it. No biggie, no biggie, no biggie. I had it for 10 months, so I feel like I should be able to answer a lot of questions y'all do have, especially for like the newcomers. Like, whew, hopefully I can. If I don't, um, don't cry, okay? Don't cry. Yeah, this is your sign to go get a piercing. Go get the best piercing you can probably ever have. That's probably top three, top four, top five top three best piercings ever in life in history of the world you know what to do make sure you like comment subscribe really really just like and comment that's all i want i'm trying to talk to y'all like just really comment comment questions y'all got comment anything you got if you want to just say look pretty just say i look pretty if you want to say um i like your regular show painting just say that that's all you gotta say if you fuck with the love sign just say that that's all you gotta say but yeah y'all know what to do just like the video and comment y'all know what to do if you want to subscribe you know if you got subscribe bro you gotta be part of the game y'all know what to do we're not gonna talk about it. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna see you on the next video. Oops.